AI Q charts are very dynamic. It's very easy to move backwards and forwards through different areas of the chart. I can use the arrow down at the bottom here to scroll left and you can see in the indicator panel the indicators are changing to reflect the values and the barometer readings on the given day I've scrolled back to. If I want to change the date to a particular point back in time, I can just hit the D key. You'll notice it changes the date to where I have the cursor. Hit enter and the chart moves back to that particular date. Each of these indicators has a preset settings based upon the creator of the indicator itself. So for example, Gerald Appel created the MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence Indicator. If I double click on MACD, I get access to the default settings that he created for this indicator. That's a short term, long term, and the signal line moving average. Notice that each of these has its value setting where I can change this if I want to customize it to my own settings. I also have the ability to change the colors on the indicator itself. To see more of the chart within this frame, I can use the decrease and increase spacing here. In this case, I'm going to decrease the spacing you notice we're getting more and more data in the price chart itself. Right now there's two years worth of data showing there. I can also click on max view on the daily chart itself to see a very long period of time using just a close only chart. We switch off the close only by going back to either high low close bars or I can switch to candlestick view if you like candlesticks. To see an even longer view, I can switch to a weekly mode, and I can even go to monthly. So here's Apple data going all the way back to 1993 within this one chart. The indicators themselves all change automatically to reflect the appropriate time frame. In this case, these are monthly MACDs.